Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, prepare your mind. Prepare your mind. You know, this message is deep because when I hear this name, I hear this name and God is saying that to this person, prepare your mind like you are the one that everyone always pick on. Even when you were little, people always have a reason to pick on you. Prepare your mind because you are set aside for an important appointment. So the people who always pick on you, it is not that they are evil. It is the enemy that is manipulating so many of them for you to feel like, okay, there is no way that somebody like you can be different. Somebody like you can be important. God is saying to someone, he said, you are an important vessel, a very important vessel. You are not a vessel unto dishonor. You are not a vessel unto dishonor. Child of God, hear me. You are a vessel unto honor. Glory to Jesus. When you are a vessel unto honor, we, sometimes you walk out, you will attract some things because demons will react. The day that demons started reacting, when you walk past, that is the day that you know that there is something in you that is always triggering the kingdom of darkness. You cannot carry a divine assignment and walk past a demon and the demon will just still be comfortable. The Bible said when the disciples were passing, every time the dancer girl would be shouting, We'd be shouting, we'd be shouting that, oh, these are men of God who has come to bring good news to the earth and all of that. So if you are a believer sent on assignment, demons see you, they are so comfortable, they don't even care if you are there. You need to check your work with God and put more fire on your altar. It means that the altar is calm. It means that the altar is sleeping. It means there is no fire in that altar. When there is fire in your altar, your name will trigger demons. When, it, when there is fire in your altar, your name will trigger the kingdom of darkness. Child of God, prepare your mind. Don't allow, don't allow the reaction of people around you make you feel as if, oh, maybe I am not divine, I am not this. The Bible says we are the ambassadors of Christ. Hallelujah. You are the one that everyone is always picking on. Prepare your mind because you were born different. Born to win. Born to conquer. Born to stand out. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. If that is you that people are always picking on. If that is you that people are always coming to stalk. If that is you that people are always trying to oppose. Even when you stand for what is right, just prepare your mind and be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. Because there is something different about you. Find out who you are because you are more than what you know. Many of us are carrying mantles. We don't know we carry mantles. Many of us, we carry fire. We don't know we carry fire. Many of us will carry prophetic gifts. We don't know we carry it. But when the enemy sees it, they quickly use any available souls around to make you feel as if you don't carry anything. There is no believer that is useless. Every one of us carries something. And what you carry is always, is already, is always and is already a threat to the kingdom of darkness. Prepare your mind. Why you have to prepare your mind? Because even the Pharisees will come against you. And they will back up their oppression using the word. So prepare your mind. Prepare your mind. Hallelujah. You are the one that they are picking on. And you are the one that is set apart for a time like this. To carry the mantle of grace. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. 
I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah, by the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye-bye.